we'd like to show you here an example of burning the nut coal in a hand-fed unit. This is a, a classic old cast iron stove. It's called a union caboose. You just take the grill off like that. Take the nut coal. You can see it's pretty good size. And you just in on top. Like this. See how clean that coal burns. You exit, there's no smoke whatsoever coming off of that coal. It's a very clean, hot, and even burning fuel. Unlike the bituminous coal you find in western Pennsylvania. Basically you're burning pure carbon here and as a result you're just getting carbon dioxide and some carbon monoxide gas off with no odor and no uh, smoke to deal with. One of the big safety features of burning anthracite coal in any unit, automatic or hand fed, is you get clear gas off the coal. There's no creosote or smoke to build up in the flue pipe and later on catch on fire and cause a flue fire. So there's no chance whatsoever of having a flue fire when you're burning strictly anthracite coal in your unit. I want to show you how to shake the ashes down when you're burning anthracite coal. What's important when you go to shake the ashes that you shake all the ashes down out of the uh, bottom of the stove. If you shake part of them down and leave part in there, that part that's in there will collapse and block off your airflow and could possibly even put the fire out completely uh, within an hour or so. Uh, on a unit like this, and this is what makes uh, these units so good for burning coal is the air comes through the bottom up through the stove and right the, the air is concentrated right through the anthracite coal which helps keep the temperature up on the coal and keep it burning at a good rate. Pull the rod out of here. Open the damper up. Shake this down until we see red coals coming out, and that is an indication that the ash that's built up in the bottom has been completely removed. Keep shaking until we get red hot coals. start to see some of the red hot coals coming through. Yep, now we got to shake it down. Speed up. Good. We should be good. We've got a lot of red hot coals coming down through. Close the stove back up. Take a look inside. See good airflow up through the coal. discuss the maintenance of the Reading anthracite stove um, and I'm talking about the maintenance that's involved at the, in the spring when you're done operating your stove. Uh, and this goes for any anthracite unit. Uh, in the spring when you're shutting your unit down I recommend that you uh, immediately within a day or two if you can um, clean up the unit you'll have a little bit of fly ash sticking to the metal inside the stove and on up through the flue system. Now as long as that fly ash is dry and it'll stay dry while you have heat in the stove there's no problem with it. But once you shut your stove down those metal oxides that are in that fly ash absorb the moisture out of the air and when that moisture and that fly ash or metal oxide mix it becomes somewhat corrosive and it wants to eat at the metal. So we recommend that you shop vac all the fly ash that you can out of your stove and your flue system just to give you better life on the unit and maintain it better. Now on the automatic units, 
and this is of course the reading unit here. You have your cast iron burner with your air holes and one of the things that happens is you have fly ash and fine coal falling down through these air holes that are accumulating down in your air chamber and one winter is not going to cause you a problem but if you uh, don't clean it out every year in the spring uh, eventually you'll accumulate enough fly ash and fine coal in that air ch chamber to cut off the airflow and obviously if you cut off the airflow your your burners not going to work very good so to show you how to clean underneath this burner uh, in the spring when you shut it down what's involved is you take the acorn nut off the all thread, slide your plate out so the rod falls free, then you go underneath, underneath, there's a wing nut here, take this wing nut off, push the carriage bolt back up through, push it out. Now this feed unit will slide right off the top half. See it just sets right on this tray and right in here you probably can see that we have a square opening where the air was being blown in underneath the burner to go up through the holes. You take a shop vac and put it through this square opening up underneath the burner and suck out all the fly ash and coal that fell through the holes. Clean it out real good and you're good to go for another winter. I just want to show you a couple components to the automatic feed system to the Reading stove. Again this is the back of your stove, this is the burner in the uh, firebox in the combustion area. Now this is a heavy cast iron burner and just to show you, it just lifts right off, right off the stove. Okay, it's grooved to sit right on the edge, and of course there's gasket to give you a good seal. So if there would be any need to replace this, um, which I haven't had any replaced so far, um, that's how simple it is. Now the only thing is when you take this off you need to get another set of gaskets to put on there to get a good seal. That's why we don't recommend taking it off to clean underneath it. Uh, we would rather you uh, clean it out from behind. The other thing that you have to do uh, when you uh, clean up your furnace in the spring is you've got to clean out all these air holes. And you can just take a little finishing nail or just any kind of a little piece, even an eighth inch drill bit, and poke down through each hole, all the way through every hole. And the reason for that, you can't necessarily see if, it, if the hole is blocked part way down. And rather than try to get your head in there and look down through with a flashlight, it's quicker and easier just to go through every hole and just punch out and clean out every hole in the spring when you're cleaning your stove up. Um, the other thing I'd like to show you, and this is just so you have a, a good understanding of how the unit works, because uh, this is not real obvious, but if you look, this is the combustion air fan for feeding air into your burner. You have one motor gear unit here with two shafts, a shaft off the top, pushes the plate and a shaft off the bottom that runs the fan for the combustion air.